This Articulation Times update is sponsored by BigBadToyStore.com. For the latest in Transformers, Marvel, DC, G.I. Joe, and more, visit BigBadToyStore.com. Big news from the 2010 Toy Fair in New York last week. Here's some of the big stories involving your favorite Marvel, DC, and Masters of the Universe characters. This is Articulation Times. Welcome to Articulation Times, your source for action figure news. Today is Monday, February 22nd, and here are your top stories. Art Asylum and Diamond Select have been busy lately getting ready for some new products from Marvel collectors. Here's a few of the highlights. Check out these packaged shots of the upcoming Marvel Select versions of Iron Man and War Machine from Iron Man 2. Iron Man's Mark IV armor will be a Borders exclusive, along with this version of War Machine. These should go on sale March 3rd. Marvel Select Spider-Man swings into action. He stands over 7 inches tall, features multiple points of articulation, and a deluxe display base. He's available now over at BigBadToyStore.com. Minimate Series 33 looks to update the looks of some classic Marvel characters, pick up Anti-Venom and Menace from the New Ways to Die storyline, this Thor Reborn and Lady Loki set will also appear in the Toys R Us exclusive Marvel Minimate Wave 6, and this army-building Sentinel will get paired with Rachel Summers as Marvel Girl. Look for the variant pack with Classic Phoenix. That's available on the 24th of February. Battle Damage Spider-Man, Black Cat, Doc Ock, and Vulture make up this mini-mate set entitled Friends and Foes. Look for that March 10th for $15.99. Travel back to the 90s with this set of X-Men mini-mates. Cyclops and Jean Grey, Beast with Rogue, Black Queen Jean Grey in a Hellfire Club Guard, and this variant Black Queen Selene with a Hellfire Club Guard will go on sale April 28th. The GLA Classified Classic line expands with four all-new figures. Consistent in style and scale to Series 1 and 2, Series 3 features some of the most requested characters from DC Comics. Each figure features multiple points of articulation, stands 6 and 3 quarter inches high, and comes with a display base. Hal Jordan Green Lantern, Red Superman, The Atom, and Zoom go on sale October 20th. Based on the book Superman Batman Supergirl comes this two-piece set between the Man of Steel and his Olsen twin looking cousin. The figures boast new color schemes and come with the graphic novel they're inspired by. This set will run you around 40 bucks when it goes on sale October 20th. From the series Superman New Krypton comes this wave of four figures. Brainiac, Monel, Superman, and Superwoman go on sale October 6th. MatiCollector.com made some big announcements this week with its Masters of the Universe series. Here's a rundown of what you can expect over the next few months. Evil Lynn will indeed be the April figure. She comes with her pet bird Screech, a bird perch, bird armor, knife, wand, and staff. You'll be seeing Optic in May. He'll come with an alternate color eyeball head, cosmic blaster, and photon neutralizer. Also arriving in May, this 12-inch Titus with his capture claw. Due to his ginormous size, he'll retail for 40 bucks. In June, She-Ra, the Princess of Power, will come with a sword, shield, and alternate head with swappable mask. Before Skeletor was the boniest looking boss in Eternia, he was known as Keldor. This June, he will be packaged with a cape, split apart sword, and acid vial. Count Marzo will come with an amulet and sword he releases in July. And finally, Gygor will ape his way into the line with an axe, removable cape, and helmet in September. In other Masters of the Universe news, Toys R Us got the exclusive on these crossover two-packs. Each pack comes with a reprint of the 1980s Masters of the Universe vs. Superman comic books from DC, and both He-Man and Skeletor are repainted in their comic book decos. He-Man comes with a battle axe and shield, Skeletor comes with a yellow clear power sword, And Luther comes with a gun and kryptonite in four shades. No word yet on a release date. In Justice League Unlimited news, Lobo will finally get his own action figure. He will be offered by himself on the Maddie Collector website. And finally, rejoice! MaddieCollector.com confirms they will release a Bill Murray Ghostbusters figure in both 12-inch and 6-inch styles. Here's the 12-inch version with real cloth costume, proton pack, ghost trap, alternate gloved hands, and a walkie-talkie. Also confirmed is the 6-inch Ray in a lab coat with a subway ghost, 
and this Walter Peck with containment unit goes on sale in April. That's it this week for Articulation Times, your source for action figure news. Don't forget, if you want the full rundown of the 2010 G.I. Joe, Transformers, and Star Wars lines of action figures, check out the recent Articulation Time videos over on the website, YouTube channel, or Facebook fan page. For Articulation Times, I'm John Airy. Keep collecting. <laughs>